I'm Chelsea. My partner Dan and I have reconverted this 2007 Ford Econoline E150 cargo van. So first of all, this passenger seat, as you can see, swivels all the way around 180, um, which comes in super handy. Another feature is this table. So really handy. Say if you had your laptop and you wanted to do some work in here, do some writing, and when you are traveling, it packs up nice and handy, like so. Easy. We have newly installed this reverse camera, which is very handy. Um, so you can uh, see what's going on behind you. Uh, we've got this handy cell phone holder. Um, and then you can plug your phone in to one of these USB ports just here. Um, there's just, so there's two here. There's also another one in the entertainment center. So this is a CD player. I don't know if anyone has any CDs anymore, but uh, we surely don't. <laughs> but it does have Bluetooth, which is it, functional. So we've both hooked our phones up to it and it works really well. There's also an aux cable that you can plug in and um, you know if you have a little converter like this plug it into your phone um, so yeah that's all functional for cup holders which is awesome uh, for traveling because uh, you usually have your water you can have another beverage we've got a little uh, container down here that we just have some odds and ends sunflower seeds of course then we have our uh, window shade. So this material is also what has been used to insulate the walls and the ceiling. Privacy, we have this curtain set up. Lots of privacy. Um, we actually don't get too much light through it and you can kind of tuck it in. Um, yeah, so nice and private at nighttime. On the roof of the van, there are two 200 watt solar panels and they are wired into this new charge controller. Um, we also have the inverter and a lithium ion battery. So this provides us uh, power for the van. So I can show you here, we have wired in some dimmable lights, which is just the controllers just here which is very handy. Next, I'll show you our pantry. So we have these, these bins that have been <laughs> drilled in, so they don't move at all. Um, and so far we haven't had anything fly out. Do little things like put our uh, koozies in between some bottles to re prevent rattling. Um, so that's super handy. My favorite little bin here. And alcohol and then what I call our little uh, hygiene station so you've got your hand wash you've got some lotion and probably one of the most important things when you are camping or doing van life <laughs> some baby wipes <laughs> and then in terms of decor uh, We've just decided to add a few extra little things. It's super handy having some Velcro um, and you can decorate your life away with that. Um, some also little bins here, you know, first aid kit, some medications, things like that. Um, things that you need handy, bug spray, uh, sunscreen. And then down here we have our garbage can. And we just, we've saved little bags along the way from some of our shopping. So we've got some extra bags here and yeah, it's super handy. We just put our hiking boots back there, uh, just as an area that's nice and tucked away. And then we have our fridge. Been collecting some magnets along our travels. So it's a pretty big fridge, which is awesome when you're traveling around. Uh, the little freezer up here actually does get pretty cold, so you can see there's some ice. Um, so yeah, that keeps things pretty cold up there. Uh, and heaps of room inside for for your food. 
uh, and drinks. <laughs> I'll just show you our uh, tap. <laughs> so whenever we, if we get to somewhere where we can fill up water, we just fill up some water. And here you go. <laughs> nice little drinking fountain. Here is a little fan. So this will, this cord will reach all the way into the cigarette lighter. Um, yeah, just for an extra little fan. We haven't even needed to use it because what we have up here is our ceiling fan. So this is wired directly into the battery. So you have power. So you've got an in and out function. Um, it can crank all the way up. So what we have here, uh, some hats, uh, things that we need readily accessible, so our head torches. Um, what I've got here is just some socks, uh, some vitamins and things like that that you can have handy uh, as you wish. Another function that we have put in <laughs> is this super fancy entertainment center. <laughs> so when you're in bed, and you want to watch a movie or a show. Just pop on your tablet. And there you go. The other really awesome function is the USB charging ports that are next to the bed. So you can see here, on and off switch for the USB will charge um, two items at once. You can turn that off, close that up as well. Same exact thing on this side, the two ports, on and off switch. Just here, we have quite a few hanging racks. So you can see that we've got a hat here, um, hang up jackets, like so, or towels or day bags or anything like that. So we use this quite a bit. It's very handy to have. Um, also, if you wanted to tie them all up, which we do, we'll tie them all up and just pop them here so that they're nice and out of the way and the hooks slide across. So if you wanted a bit more space and if you were about six foot or under, you could turn the bed the other way and it would look like this. Now it's sideways. A bit more space here. You could sit uh, while someone else is in the chair there put a little table here, play some cards, have some food. So in terms of storage space inside, uh, we have a his and hers clothing bucket. So I can show you mine. So this has all of my clothes inside, um, tops, bottoms, jackets, and they all fit nice and tidy here. And his laundry basket, super handy to keep all the smelly things away. <laughs> and then I just have a bag for all my extra shoes. So shoes, slippers. All right, we'll go to the outdoor features. So here we have our shower set up. So as you can see, uh, we've got a little hook here for a mirror. I keep my toiletries here. And then we have the shower set up. So what we've got is a shower head. We've got a pump, a filter and a pump. And then we've got this jug of water that we travel around with. Uh, what we've done in the past is actually put it on the roof of the van so that it can warm up and you can have a nice warm shower. Um, but the setup is we've got this hose that's going into the water jug, like so, into the filter, and then I'll show you how it works. So you can leave this on this head actually in place and shower as so, um, but for demonstration purposes, and because we don't want a mud pit, I will show you how it works just holding it. 
So this pump switch is powered into the battery. So here we go. Voila. An awesome outdoor shower. <laughs> there we go. Now, um, as you can see, there's an awning that's just here next to the van, over the door, um, and a second awning behind the back of the door. Uh, we have actually made these window shades. Take a couple magnets. it on like so. Very dark in the van. It's awesome. A few other um, items that will come with the van. So we have an extra hose for the shower. Uh, a couple of straps in case you need, want to strap anything to the roof. We use that for the water jug. Um, a car jack uh, in case you need to change your tire some extra guy rope and pegs for the awning, along with this crate and these bins. All right, in this tub, as you can see, uh, are all the utensils that will come with the van. Now, what I will do is I'll show you the storage space and how it goes together. So underneath, you can see some firewood. So we always have a few logs handy. Um, we each have our big backpacking backpacks tucked into the sides there. So there's plenty of space for your backpacks. I also have two extra backpacks tucked in the sides. So a travel backpack and then our little day pack that we use for hiking. All right, I'll show you how everything fits together. So, and this crate is what holds all of the extra items there. in there. Oh. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of our van. We sure enjoy it. Uh, we have been living out of it for the last couple of months and have really used every single function. Uh, and it's really suited our travel needs and I hope it would suit yours in the future. All right, well, that's enough for me. I'm off for a swim.